Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is my week 10 video response and I'll be talking about my hometown in Williamsburg, Virginia. Just for some context, Williamsburg is located along the peninsula between the York and the James River, about an hour southeast of Richmond. Zooming in a little more, Williamsburg has three major roads that make up the bigger road network. At the biggest scale is Interstate 64, which actually runs across the entire state of Virginia and all the way to St. Louis, Missouri. Williamsburg itself falls into the west or south side of the interstate itself. The next major road is Virginia State Route 199, which falls into an arc that wraps around Williamsburg before intersecting with 64. The last major road is Route 60, or Richmond Road, which parallels the interstate east to west across the entire state and runs through the heart of Williamsburg. In terms of land use, many people live outside of 199 itself, and there are a few neighborhoods within it shooting off of Richmond Road, as shown in the yellow. Richmond Road is home to most of the commercial and mixed-use areas of Williamsburg, as shown in the red, or the schools and civic functions, shown in blue. Outside of this, a lot of the land is either developed, undeveloped source land or for military use, and that's shown in the green. There's definitely a defined hierarchy between the roads, and that makes it pretty simple to navigate. You're pretty much going further into the peninsula or heading out of it on any of the roads. In terms of its impacts on development or land use, I can definitely say that Richmond Road has grown over the years in terms of more intensified development with grocery stores, strip malls, and apartments, and it's just becoming a lot more prominent. 1 and 9 has mostly remained the same. 64 as of late, especially between Richmond and Newport News, is growing from a four-lane to a six-lane highway, so congestion has definitely increased going to and from these two or three places, really. Um, in terms of its impacts on lane use within Williamsburg, I don't think it's got to that point yet because it's a relatively new construction, but I'm curious to see what evolves over time. So that's my video for the week. I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you Tuesday.